evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a late night edition of the Cook Cook Cooking Show. Jingle. Cook Cook Cooking Show. And tonight we are making a very special dish in this camper van from Cuckoo. A dish which is the vegetarian burger. So we have everything ready here. We need maybe this, maybe this, not this, uh, this, yes, probably, and the soap at the end when it, if things get messy. So. Let's get uh, started. To make burgers, what you need, you need the burger in the middle and the burger bread. The burger in the middle we'll make with chili beans, uh, not this, and maybe like throw some maize in it, throw a tomato and stuff, and then the decorations, the onion and the, the mushrooms. Yes, the damaged mushrooms. And we need, of course, the burger bread, which we will fry in butter at the end. Um, just have to look for the burger bread. The burger bread. So, what we will do is first we must make the burger, the consistency of the burger, which is, of course, uh, the main uh, of the burger. So, we open the chili beans. Mm, how we do this? Maybe put some in the pan, I guess, and then take some uh, maize, okay, which is yellow. It's so you can recognize it, it has the color. And then, uh, oh, not too much water. Maybe actually use some cutlery for this. I mean, your fingers are fine, huh? it's camping. Huh? You need to squash this. So what we will use to squash this, because of course it's a camper van, huh? so not a luxury hotels. Although it is as comfortable as a luxury hotel, I must say even more so, because we have uh, the view on the ocean. Don't show it, it's nighttime, it's okay. But we will use the ketchup bottle now, not for the ketchup, but to squash the stuff. Squash, squash, squash. So get busy squashing. <laughs> you mustn't laugh. Okay, and while you're at it, don't forget to add a little bit of salt, of course. Huh? It has to be a bit salty, like this, inside. That's nice, let's see, does it? Uh, if you find a bigger bottle with a flatter surface on the bottom, huh, don't hesitate to use this. I'm just the only one I have, and yeah. Uh, what you can add, maybe like a little bit of tomato. So let me find the knife. Where I put the knife? Ah. Okay, so take a knife huh? and uh, just a bit of tomato in it for the consistency. Oh, this is not going to. Okay, I'll just put it inside. And then we can use the slices from this later to make the nice decoration. Okay, this was not the best idea, but. <laughs> It gives a bit of the taste, huh? and then once you've done this, <laughs> now the very important thing, of course, huh, is to uh, is to you have to make a burger, so it must be consistent, and you must be able to grill it in the pan with ease, joy, and uh, comment on comment dit en anglais. You must be able to hear it frizzle. Huh? Do you understand? So what you do is you tap the bottle of ketchup to get all the. Huh? Stuff that is not ketchup out of the bottle of the ketchup, of course. Probably put this away, clean it later. Mm. <laughs> okay. Then, what you do, this is a trick. You must use some Rulaha Far, which we call Flocon d'Avoine, but it's oatmeal. Huh? And you open the packet. Okay. Now, once the packet is opened, you pour a bit like this. And now comes the dirty job. We make the burgers. Uh, maybe first mix it up a bit. Check the texture. Okay, maybe I have a wooden spoon actually. It's better. You don't want to damage the foil underneath. Okay. So like this, add a bit more. It should be quite consistent. Huh? It should soak up the juice from the stuff. So like this. Okay. And... Okay, so this consistency seems to be okay. Let's see if it works. I'm not sure. Maybe take a bit like this. And one burger. Two burgers. Three burgers. And cheeseburger. Okay. Oh. Okay, so you have four burgers like this. Let's <laughs> pretend. So try to imagine that they are perfect and round and beautiful. 
and then oh goodness. Now, what we want to do is nicely make this rissole in a bit of butter and a mixture of oil as well. Okay, so we push the burger from here, the bowl too, and get it cooking. Uh, lock the stuff and the flame as a going. Okay, and what is fantastic about this is the pans, the flame, and even the washing liquid is provided by Cuckoo Camping. So, you can rest at ease that your cooking will be marvelous and you don't have to worry about a thing. Mm, a bit good, but a bit more salt, I think. Eh? That's enough because the maize is already. Mm. Oh, maybe a bit of oil. So, you feel free to put a bit of oil uh, like this. Uh, don't put the fire too strong. Oops. Of course, coming from Normandy, eh, my, I'm more of a person for butter than oil, but they are all good, so. Just a tiny bit of butter, uh, this is much, that's good. And see if you can sort of start to fry this. And hopefully it keeps its consistency. I doubt it. Okay, now we are doing the burger, so make sure you can adjust a bit their size uh, and the, the way they look, so they're now nice and round and they will fit nicely in your burger bun. Uh, in your Hamburger Borot. Eh? Of course, we are here in Iceland, so everything has an Icelandic name, even the people. Crazy. Okay, so what I am doing now is I have turned these over. Eh? I let them cook a bit, fry a bit, maybe a bit more fire. <laughs> now, while you wait, you can take out a little plate. So you can take out the little plate and you can start while you wait to cut some stuff. Where's the cutting knife? Ah, a normal knife will do. Anyway, take a bit of um, the onion you have left over from the other day and uh, go spill it a bit. And you can take little bits of this and this will go inside the burger when it's done, you know. You can also uh, a bit of tomato to put inside the burgers. Oh. Normally you want like whole slices and it's more beautiful, but uh, hey, this is not your regular cooking class. It's a cooking class. Um, so if you have a little mushrooms left over, just throw that in there as well. Huh? So let's see how these two are doing. So as you see, I will just take them here and put them over. And if we pretend that they, it's working well, it's really going well. It's all uh, a matter of imagination. Oh. So we have a preparation here for the inside the burger to go on top of the burger inside of the sandwich. We can also take this little red thing, pop, 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 and put a little bit of this. So it's a bit spicy inside. Oops. And while you wait and while the burgers are singing in the pan, feel free to sing yourself a little melody on veggie burgers. Ooh, veggie. Burger tu es si délice quand tu chantes. Maybe a bit more oil. Tu es si beau, si joli, chante avec moi. Tu es si beau, si. Check the ketchup, it's still not clean, we need to wash it. Veggie Burger, veux-tu sortir avec moi? Allez oui, Veggie Burger, on va faire comme ça. And as you can see, the singing of the ukulele inspires the singing of the pan. And it is staying together nicely now, almost all of them. Nice, very good. Well, at least one is. Uh, so, how do you like yours? Uh, well done, medium rare, red or bleu? The real way. When we give it back to Cuckoo Camping, they will go, hmm, you cooked some beautiful veggie burger. We said, yes, mm. the veggie burger and the Rona Master. They are together like two sirs. Uh, sir means sister. Okay, for example, we have a burger here. 
Oh, it's a little one. This is a burger and it will go in the middle of the burger. We have another burger here. Wow, magnifique. And now we wait for the two big ones. I made bigger ones, they take a bit more time to get uh, condensed. Maybe it's because there's a serious lack of butter. So if they don't stick well, probably add some more butter. That's always the solution anyway, no? Okay, so these are the big ones for the people with a big appetite. They're coming along nicely. With some spices, maybe. Ah, if you have some spices, add some spices. If you don't have some spices with you, Life is beautiful anyway, so it's a win-win. Oh, and I forgot to mention, of course, the ingredient uh, that is uh, very useful that we planned is the Hamburgara Sosa, the Icelandic version of hamburger sauce. Oh, it smells lovely. Okay, let's see how the big ones are doing. Oh, uh, yeah, that's okay. I'm flattening them out a bit so they cook nicely. We don't want to cold inside, huh? We don't like cold inside, that's why there's a good heater in here. But we turned it off for the video, or my heater a bit there. Actually, maybe I will add this inside of these things. As a surprise. Bits of red stuff, just put them here. And for the guests that you like, but not too much, you can put a lot in it and let him have a surprise. Veggie burgers, si joli. Viens avec moi, je mange des radis. Okay, we have another burger here, it's ready. It took a bit more longer on huh? this one, I don't know. Hop. And then the last one, let's... This almost not enough oil. And if you add oil, always remember, if you add oil, add some salt. Nobody likes non-salty oil. And if you are in need of salt and you have uh, lost it and you don't have enough, feel free to just touch it. Go down to the seaside here in Iceland. We're in the north, somewhere northwest. I don't know. Lots of salt in the sea. Mm. The more butter, the better. Okay, last hamburger is done. Well, this one is a bit uh, uh, capricious, but anyway, we have some leftover meat here. We just put it uh, up here. Never mind. Oh, and what we want to do now? Let's put some butter inside. Hop, 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 go very fast. Drop the butter, and now we do this thing. Nobody wants to eat this coal. So, hop, to go. Let's do these ones. Oh, ah, ah, ah. What I'm doing is I'm taking the bread and I am putting a bit of butter. So this will be toasted in butter on the pan, and then it will be lovely. Oh, flip them over, ain't nobody got no time for that, so... So, while I wait for this to grill, can I interest you in uh, a very nice... Uh, it's a very nice album you can buy. You can listen to it while you eat the burger. Mm. Okay, so flip them over, and this one is done. Oh, and we can throw the other one on. Don't forget a little bit of butter. Ooh, throw it over here. Oh. It's a flying saucer. Okay, flying pan. It's not a saucer. Now we are going to make the burger. So place your burger here. Put a bit of the magic sauce on the bottom. Okay. Now take a nice juicy steak. Oh, I'll take this one, my favorite, the third one, and put it over here. And then add some stuff. This and some onion. This. This. Let's make it a double! What? Are you serious, Ben? Yeah! Double burger! <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And then like uh, mushroom, tomato, this thing. And then a bit more sauce. Oh, so this is one done. Okay, food the bar. Can you see it? Okay, and now this one will be soon done. Burning it a little bit. It's okay, it gives taste and cancer, but mainly taste. Actually, because we are civilized human beings, of course, we don't put this on the table. <laughs> we put it on a plate huh, for people to enjoy. So now you are done. Here's the second one. Bada boom, bada boom. Turn off the fire. What comes here? It's a test. First the sauce, then the burger. Yeah. 
and then what comes now is some stuff oh. and actually on the stuff you can add a tiny bit of salt just for the fun of it uh, now we're going full double burger so what I'm going to do is add this burger on this one and it's a double burger what what and a bit more sauce and if you want to be crazy you can add some ketchup to this one too but we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna go with this so here you have it where is my other piece of bread I'm missing a bun haha <laughs> here here you have it the double veggie burger with all sorts of stuff and feel free either to wipe the ketchup here on the top or add some ketchup in the thing et voilà bon appétit this was the cuckoo camping show no wait this was the cuckoo cooking camping show no wait this was the cuckoo cooking show jingle ah. Ah. jingle cuckoo camping cook no wait cuckoo cooking show